Area Forecast Discussion from the National Weather Service of Grand Forks, North Dakota, 6.31 p.m. Central Standard Time, Wednesday, December 7, 2022. Looking at mostly clear skies. Okay, we're going to skip ahead, actually, to the long term. Friday through Wednesday. Little to no impacts are expected through the early portions of the long term, with temperatures warming into the 20s to lower 30s for daytime highs. There's a chance for some light snow Friday through midday on Saturday, with up to one inch possible for areas east of the Red River. Attention then turns to the southwesterly flow that develops through the weekend and into the early to middle portions of next week. As this happens, a deepening 500 MB trough develops over the Rockies and begins to track toward the northern plains. Confidence is growing on potential impacts to the northern plains Monday night through Wednesday morning as the system shifts through the region. The track and progressive nature of the system are less certain as cluster analysis has two types of scenarios. One scenario, which is less likely by 33%, has the system track further to our south, bringing only marginal to minor wintry impacts. More guidance suggests a 66% chance that the systems track through South Dakota and into Minnesota. This track favors minor impacts at the least across eastern North Dakota and northwest Minnesota. On top of track, the progression of the system has varied between ensembles with a more progressive track and some of the guidance in a slower, more stalling track in a few ensembles. A more progressive movement would favor less impacts, while a potential blocking out east, creating a stalling mechanism for the system, would favor heightened impacts, 30% chance that could happen. We know for certain that the system will be tapping into moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and bringing warm air advection into the region. The impacts are certain, but depending on the track and movement of the system, they remain uncertain on the severity. However, we can say there is a 50 to 60% chance of seeing at least minor impacts across our area. QPF above a quarter of an inch is higher across our region, with a 50 to 70% chance of occurring for Tuesday and 30 to 50% chance for Monday. We will continue to monitor the system track, the intensity and progression through the end of the week and into the weekend. 